Hello everybody, welcome to this video lecture. In this video, we are going to look at how to build a Docker image from a Docker file. Now as you all know, Docker is the world's most popular and widely used containerization platform that lets developers seamlessly build, share and deploy applications anywhere, regardless of their computing environment. A Docker image is simply a snapshot or a blueprint of the libraries and dependencies required inside a container for an application to run. So from running a docker image, we end up with a docker container. Now for this video, we will build a docker image from a simple HTML application. So once we build the image, we are going to run it and end up with an application which we are going to access it from a web browser. Now to get started, our first step, we are going to create a working directory for our project. All right, so I'm going to create a directory using the mkdir command. All right, and I'm going to create a folder called docker demo. All right, and then I'm going to navigate into this directory using the cd command like that. So after hitting enter, we have landed inside the docker demo. And when you run the pwd command, you can see that we are already inside the docker demo directory. Now the next step, we are going to create a simple index.html file. So I'm going to use nano editor to do this. Then I'm going to specify index.html like that, which is the name of the HTML file and hit enter. Now I already have the contents of the index.html file on my clipboard. So I'm just going to copy the contents of the file. All right. So as you can see, this is a simple HTML file that prints the message hello world to the screen. And this is running in a Docker container. All right. So these are the two lines that the the file will create. Okay, so we are going to build an image off of this file and later on we're going to run an application and later access it from our browser. So I'm going to save the changes by pressing Ctrl O, then hit enter, then Ctrl X to exit. All right. So using the ls command, you can see that we have our index.html file in place. All right. Now the next step, we are going to select a base image. So for this project, we are going to use the Alpine image and we're using Alpine because of its small memory footprint. All right. Now the next step, we are going to create a Docker file. Okay. So this is the file that you define the build instructions for our image. All right. So we are going to use the nano editor and specify Docker file like that. Okay. And I'm going to hit enter. All right. So now we are going to add the build instructions to the Docker file. So here I'm going to start with from. Okay. So here I'm going to specify uh, nginx stable hyphen alpine 3.17. Okay, so this specifies the base image. All right, next I'm going to specify copy. Then we are going to use index.html file and then we're going to copy it to user share nginx html. So this is the path to the web root directory for the nginx browser. Then we're going to expose port 80. Then finally, I'm going to specify a few defaults using the command directive. So here we have nginx, then hyphen g. So don't worry about this. I'm going to explain it in more detail. Demon of we have a semicolon, closing the quotation mark, then close the brackets. Okay. All right. So these are, this is the content. This is the content of the Docker file. 
So here you can see from line one, from this uh, instruction initializes a new build image or simply defines the image from which you're going to build the Docker image from. Okay, so this is the name of the image. Okay, so as you can see, we are using Alpine as our base image. All right, so in the next line, the copy directive uh, copies the files or directories from the source to the specified location inside the image. So we are copying the contents from the index.html file that we just created to the specified location. In this case, it's the user share nginx html directory, which is the default direc directory for serving static files in the nginx browser. All right. Then here we are exposing port 80 on which the on which the container will run inside the image. All right. And finally, the command instruction provides the defaults for executing the containers. All right. So this is our complete Docker file. So I'm going to save the changes by pressing Ctrl O, hit enter, then Ctrl X to exit. So when you run the ls command, you should have two files. The first one is a Docker file. And secondly, we have the index.html file from which you're going to build the image from. So the next step is to build the Docker image from the Docker file template that we have just defined. And to do so, we are going to use the Docker build command. So run the command uh, Docker build with the hyphen T option. So the hyphen T allows you to tag uh, your image. So in our case, we are going to tag it using the name sample app. Then you're going to provide the version, version one. And finally, we are going to end this command with a period sign. So this specifies the location of the Docker file. So the period sign uh, tells us that the Docker file is in the same path. All right, as you have seen here. Okay. So just go ahead and hit enter. And as you can see, the build process is underway. And in a few seconds, this should be completed. Okay. So as you can see, the image is being built layer by layer. Okay. And there we go. We have finished building the Docker image. So I'm going to clear the screen. So we're going to verify that the Docker image has been created. And to do so, simply run the command uh, Docker images. And as you can see, here is our Docker image that we tagged sample up. So as you can see, we have tagged it version one. And this has been created just 24 seconds ago. This is the image ID. And this is the size of our Docker image. As you can see, it's 11.5 megabytes. And this is quite small. And this is thanks to the Alpine image that we chose to build this Docker image. All right. Now, after building the image, the next step, we are going to create a container from this image. And to create a container, we are going to use the docker run command. Okay. So here I'm going to specify hyphen D for detached mode or for running the container in the background. Then I'm going to specify the port to be exposed, which is port. We are going to, spe we are going to expose port 8080 on our server. And we're going to map this to port 80 in the container. All right. Then finally, we are going to provide uh, the image name, which is sample app. And we tagged it version one. All right. So this command will run this container in the background and it will expose port 8080 on our server. So I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see, we get output, we get some feedback here. And this reflects the complete container ID. All right. So to verify this, you can run the container, you can run the command docker ps. Okay. So as you can see, we have a running container. And as you can see, the first few digits here uh, resemble or they indicate the container ID. And 
as you can see they match what we have here okay so this container id is simply truncated and this is the entire container id that has been displayed here all right so as you can see this is a port mapping okay so port 8080 on the server is being mapped to port 80 on the container all right now we're going to get the ip address of our server using the ipa command okay so as you can see uh this is a public ip address all right so i'm going to copy this and we are going to head over to a browser and try to access our running application on port 8080 all right so here i'm going to open my browser here and i'm going to paste this and i'm going to specify port 8080 on which our application or container is running so i'm gonna hit enter and there you go so as you can see now we are able to access our application and this as we saw earlier is a simple html application that displays hello world this is running in a docker container message all right and that's just about it ladies and gentlemen so in this guide we saw or we demonstrated how to create a simple application or a simple uh, docker image from a docker file and from the image we were able to run the image and get a running container that we have accessed it from our browser so that's it guys for this video see you in the next video lecture